Well, Bob, thank you for your leadership. And if you wouldn't mind skipping uh, the senior part of Ways and Means, I would really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the leadership, too, of our vice chairs as well. You know, for America's technology industry, the marketplace is a world marketplace. So it's not enough to simply buy American. You have to sell American. And this technology group is committed to opening up markets, finding new customers in every corner of this globe, and then ensuring we have the type of tax code that our industry can compete to win in those markets around the world. Uh, opening markets uh, uh, with uh, supporting and passing the pending free trade agreements uh, that open up uh, remarkable new markets, both in our backyard and in the, in the Asia region, will have an, uh, an impressive uh, effect on our economy. We're also going to fight protectionism, uh, tearing down barriers around the world, uh, which uh, restrict uh, our companies from selling and competing uh, in those markets. And we're also going to look at ways we can move uh, products better, faster, cheaper around the world as well, which we've learned from this global downturn has become even more and more important to our industry. Uh, we need to clear the decks by passing the three pending trade agreements uh, this summer. Uh, we need to, uh, to pass expired programs uh, in preferences and trade adjustment assistance as well. And then looking forward, opening new markets through the Trans-Pacific Partnership with strong property rights protections in those, uh, uh, that agreement as well. Uh, looking to Doha as they work through this early harvest, uh, updating the information technology agreement, uh, and also because piracy has become just endemic around the world ensuring that uh, we are addressing that issue, both the concerns today and as we look at future trade agreements as well. Opening those markets is key. Competing to win is even uh, is equally important. We need a tax code that allows our industry to do just that. Our tax rates are too high. We're falling behind other countries. They're taking a page from our playbook. Low taxes, common sense regulation, skilled workforce, and beating us on the head with it. So I support... Uh, Chairman Dave Camps and the Speaker's effort to, uh, to lower the corporate tax uh, rates to make us uh, more competitive, uh, to simplify that tax code, uh, and those efforts are moving forward. But as we seek reform, we also need to move forward with the ideas that can grow our economy today. That includes repatriation, uh, lowering that tax, tax gate and allowing up to $1 trillion of stranded U.S. profits to flow back into the U.S. economy, to grow jobs, to be invest in R&D, to buy the buildings and software and equipment that will drive jobs along Main Street. And we also need to strengthen our research and development incentives as well. The 1980s, America led the world in these incentives. Today, we rank 24th. These are good-paying jobs that lead not just to innovation, but patents and a continuing source of jobs uh, in the future. Uh, we need to strengthen that R&D tax credit. We need to increase it, uh, and we need to make it permanent. Bottom line today is we're buying the R&D tax credit on installments, and as a result, we're not able to drive that car farther and fast enough to really keep pace with our competitors. So the technology group, I think, can play a key role in opening these markets and uh, ensuring that uh, our American companies can compete to win, and I look forward to working with you all to do that. Thanks.